Okay, so this is what I need to make, another one of these. Nice aluminium mount for the Z-axis motor. Now, the thing with these is that they mount with these little holes here, but they have this bit that sticks out here. And I want to mount it onto some 20 mil thick aluminium, like this. But as you can see, if you just drill holes in this and mounted it through like this, you've got two problems. One, the shaft of the motor would be sticking out only a tiny amount and wouldn't allow you to fix anything to it. And the other issue is because this bit bulges out here, if you don't make a little pocket for it, it just wants to rock around on that and not sit nice and flat. So the way that I've done it on this one is, I'm not sure whether you can see, but these ones here, um, where the bolts are, the, that's 4mm of aluminium left, and then here is only 2mm of aluminium left. And I've cut out a pocket in the back. Now this is the kind of operation that's dead easy if you've got a mill or if you've got a CNC machine, but I don't have one of those yet. So this is my setup for doing pocketing in a slightly more garage fashion. Um, so I've got this excellent um, trend jig and um, here's the one I'm just making now so I'm using a fairly bog standard decent sized router with a half inch um, collet and in there is a 10 mil bit and by running that around and just cutting maybe half a millimetre to a millimetre at a time, you could gradually work your way down. Um, and it's a bit noisy, uh, but it does the job. Um, and I've got these um, Bessie clamps here, that are, and some others that are sort of holding it all in place. So slow and steady, and we'll get there. So the router's in position, and you can see the end mill there. So what I'm gonna do is lower down the router to until it touches and then just lock it off so you should be able to see now that the end mill is touching the aluminium um, and now we can bring this little guy all the way down until he touches and that gives us a datum and we can raise everything back up and then so 11 millimetres is our datum, and then we're going to make a first cut of half a millimetre, which is that. Lock that off, and then when we come down, we'll come down and just cut half a millimetre. And then we repeat, repeat, repeat. Very close now with that central pocket there's about half a millimeter still to come off you see the little ridges it's like a, the human tool path it's a bit all over the place but it's incredibly smooth um, you can't you can't feel those ridges hardly in fact you can't feel them at all All set then for the big pocket that sits around this one. These little holes here 
um, are they going to form the slots for, for mounting on if I show you on the other one again it will be these slots here so I'll file off um, the little joints between and neaten them all off so it's left to one pass half a millimetre off six mil down ten to go so here we have it the pocket complete Do these clamps. So I need to sort out those little holes. But See there, slightly thicker. That's four mil, and that's two. The little pocket inside. Um, that should work. Is that should sit nice and comfortably in there. Which it does. And then once those, once those holes are all cut nicely. You'll be able to slide it back and forth. There we go. So I think that will do it for this video. I've got a bit of tidying up to do still on these holes, but basically it's there.